Good morning and welcome to Seaside Quilting Tutorials. Today is box opening day. Always an exciting day. It's almost like Christmas. A um, little bit bigger of a box today. Not a huge one, but one of those medium sized ones. I'm excited. So let's see what we have today. I know all of our customers are always excited to see their boxes come in. tablet to keep all my notes and keep track of myself in. These are always handy to have. I have one that I keep uh, different formulas and notes and stuff for my quilts. Uh, as I'm making quilts, often I do them on what I call on the fly. And they're a lot of fun. Um, So, a lot of times I just start out with a block idea or um, I might build it on my software and then create my borders as I go. Um, so, there's a, a lot of times there's a lot of math and if I try to keep it in my head, it's not going to stay there, <laughs> not for long, because there's always little distractions, dogs going in and out, neighbors coming in and out, um, all kinds of things going on. Oh, and we have some beautiful shells. Ooh, check that one out. Isn't that a pretty one? Ooh. So now I have two collections going on of shells. I have my smaller shells and I have my larger shells. That one is pretty, pretty, pretty. This one almost could go in a vase. Almost looks like a rose. Isn't that cool? And then I have a couple of my smaller ones for my small collection. Look at that. Barb was busy at the beach. I'm gonna set those over where my cat won't knock them off. Oh, and I even have a little spurly one. I love these. These are, these are so cute. The little swirly ones. I don't know what shell names are. I have no idea what is in each shell or where they come from, except they are at the beach. That's my knowledge of shells. I just think they're cool. So one of my new things in my long arm is trying to keep down, um, I like to quilt a lot when I quilt a quilt. I'm an over quilter quite often, which causes quilts to become um, heavier and sometimes too stiff, which is great if it's a wall hanging, great if it's a table runner, but if it's a quilt that I want someone to love and enjoy and um, have fun with, then I need ways to uh, lighten the thread and that keeps the drape in it when I do that. So I've quite commonly been using bottom line for the top and the bottom. So as an experiment, I'm going to be using some 100 weight thread. So I got a dark green and I got a black and I'm going to experiment with these and even if they don't work out well for me I love these for my embroidery machine when I'm doing uh, small names or um, when I'm doing the uh, quilt labels 
because quilt, quilt labels tend to be smaller on the back of the quilt. And because they are smaller, um, the, the printing, you know, the lettering, I need a very, very thin, fine thread for that. Otherwise, if I use a 40 weight, it gets bulky. You can't do very fine lettering, um, very small lettering with a bulky thread. It just, you won't be able to distinguish the lettering that I put on there. So either way, these will work out. And I have certain colors that I use primarily um, quite a lot in my quilting, colors that um, will blend into pretty much anything. So if I have a quilt that has a lot of colors in it, then I need threads that will blend in. So we have these two, and I'm always adding to my collection of bottom line thread. So I got a lime, and believe it or not, lime mixes in with a lot more than you think it would. It's, you know, uh, not just greens, but uh, different colors that, that have uh, green in them, um, but maybe other tones. So I picked this up because I didn't have this in my collection yet. And I picked up a light yellow because I didn't have any yellow yet. And I probably have around, I think last I counted, I have around 27 colors of bottom line thread. Now bottom line thread is not just for long arm quilting. Uh, I use this in and they call it bottom line thread because it was originally, I think, created to go into your bobbins, which is your bottom. And so um, that's what I use in my sewing. And the nice thing about bo bottom line thread is it is a polyester. And polyester and cotton do a really good grab. It toughens um, the sewing, so to speak. So since I use 50 weight to sew with on the top when I'm sewing, I use a 60 weight, uh, and that's cotton, the 50 weight, and then I use um, a 60 weight in the bottom. It gives a really nice grab, a really good hold, because that polyester is going to um, latch onto that cotton, and they tighten up together, which when I'm sewing a, uh, a quilt together, especially a large quilt together, I want it to be able to hold up. I want my quilts to hold up for years and years for people to have them and enjoy them. And the more that you uh, use a quilt and love a quilt, the softer it becomes over time, which is wonderful. And that's my expectation when I give a gift of a quilt. And I've been working through both my husband's family and my family. I have his family um, pretty much done except for just uh, one person I think in, in his family and my family is larger I have a lot of brothers and sisters so um, and they have children and I've got to catch up before their children grow up and start having children or I'm never gonna catch up so that's been my goal each year is to make quilts and send them out to members of the family and of course I make quilts for friends and so forth and uh, table runners, uh, bags, things like that. So um, I carry a lot, a lot of threads. I have embroidery thread. I have um, 40 weight threads for decorative stitching that's cotton. And um, then I have my serger threads. I just have threads everywhere. But I love colors and I like having the right color when I need it. I don't want to have to wait on a quilt for my threads to come in uh, because they could become UFOs. I've one that I'm, I'm probably sewing and quilting every single day, pretty much, pretty close, except for the days that we have outings and um, barbecues and things like that going on during the summer and my gardening time. So um, I've got to have my thread ready I can't be waiting on something because I have constant projects going on and I'm doing tutorials um, for all of you.
So I'm really excited to have those in. I'm going, if my 100 weight theory works out, which I'll be doing a combination. I won't be doing all 100 weight on a quilt. Well, possibly, we'll see. But um, the experiment is to uh, change my threads out. I like to have different colors sometimes in my um, quilts. So my experiment is when I'm doing feathering that the, um, you know, certain lines are going to uh, create a lot of thread buildup, I would go to the 100 weight to keep that thread buildup down so it balances. And then for areas where um, my, my quilting is a little bit larger and isn't doing all that buildup, I would use my 40 weight and so forth and balance between them. So we'll see how this goes. And you'll be seeing in the future because I will be showing uh, some of my quilting in the future. So let's see what what kit we have here because I see that they have sent me a kit. And um, if you watched our last live, you probably heard Mary say that she has another tutorial for me to do. <laughs> She's so cute. And when she knows that I have a tutorial to do, she will ask me and ask me and ask me. Yeah, you got that. She's so fun. So let me see what I have. Okay, we've got quite a few things in here. So let's see what this kit is. Okay, let me see, I think this is stapled together. Wow, Mary got going with that stapler. There's quite a few staples in here. Okay, I'm not going to get those out anytime soon. <laughs> Let me see. I know the last live also, we showed the cathedral window um, quilt and pillow tutorial. Now I'm planning on doing the pillow tutorial of the cathedral windows. They always look hard and I like it because it looks hard. And so when you give it as a gift, um, people are just so awed by it, but it's really easy to do. And I love the um, shabby fabric um, patterns because they give you picture after picture after picture to show you step by step how to do everything. So it's a beautiful pattern. My plan is to do this next month with you all. So that's gonna be fun because uh, July is uh, Christmas in July. So it's a good time to get a jump start on presents um, and plan our fabrics coming up, going through the holidays. So I want to start some projects um, next month that will be aligned with that um, concept. So another one of the patterns that I've been looking forward to getting is um, this, half apron because a lot of people love aprons but they don't want an apron up in here um they just want a half apron <clears throat> excuse me back when i was a child i remember um, my grandmother always having an apron on and when people would come in you you'd see her in her picture window running around with her apron uh, dusting things off, wiping things down, and she would wear it all the time, and she might have a dress underneath or whatever she was wearing at the time. And she grew up in a time when you didn't have a lot of clothes, and my grandmother never spent a lot of money on clothes. So um, they didn't want anything to uh, get dirty because they needed it to last a long, long time. So aprons were very, very common. And I think aprons are making a big comeback now, fancier aprons, uh, they call them. And it's interesting because now they, a lot of the aprons, they call them retro 
um, aprons and so forth. But um, I love aprons and the unfortunate thing for me, well, not unfortunate, it's just the way, thing, the way I do things. Quite often, a lot of what I make gets given away. I love um, bringing joy to other people and the way that I do that is I make things and I give them away. So, fun, fun. And then there is this uh, Joyous Noel tree skirt, which I plan to do next month, hopefully next month. Some of my, uh, I always have a lot of things in my head that I want to show during July. And um, there isn't always the time that I think I'm going to have. So it looks like after 4th of July, I'm going to have a lot of time. Um, we'll see. <laughs> things change no matter what my plans are. So we'll see what happens. Um, but this is one of my plans to do in July, but could carry over into um, August because, um, like I said, this month is crazy. I've had um, graduations, I've had um, birthdays, uh, Father's Day is coming up. So um, it's, it's just a very heavy, heavy month. And we were just joking this last weekend because we had a graduation party um, for a friend's uh, family member. And so every weekend this month has been some get together for some occasion. So, and they, they have two little ones, a two year old and a three year old. And um, well, she's going to be two this month. And so, you know, I kid with the, the little ones. I'm like, party, 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 party. So they get all excited when I say party, party. And um, cause they know there's gonna be desserts and fun foods and all that kind of thing. And I'm designated this weekend. So I have a birthday present that I need to get done. Um, I have three Father's Day presents that I need to get done. And, um, and I'm supposed to make a dessert. <laughs> so <clears throat> luckily I have till Sunday for all this, but it's gonna be a busy, busy week. My poor house. I'll probably have to catch up on Monday because we're going to take my exercise machine out of my sewing room. Now, I know some of you have small uh, sewing areas and I'm sorry. Um, I've been there. I used, Originally when I was real young, I lived in a trailer, a single wide, and there was not much room. So um, my crafting and my sewing all went into a closet. And if you opened the closet, you never knew what was going to fly out at you. I'm <laughs> serious. I'm very serious about it. And if I was to do a project or so, it was on my kitchen table. And if we wanted to use the kitchen table for anything else, I had to pick everything up and, and find a place to set it until after. And then I could put it back. And so that was my sewing space or crafting space painting space you name it space and so i totally understand and then years later um we had a house a two-level house and my kids had the whole downstairs for their entertainment room their bedrooms they didn't want to claim the laundry room i don't understand why but they didn't like the laundry room and they had their own bathroom down there and when my children grew up and in their um, late teenage years, uh, progressively the room wasn't being used for an entertainment room and eventually I took over it. And it was about um, like a nine by 10 or eight by 10, something like that room. So I had a little more room, but I was still um, piles of things and I, I hate clutter clutter just gives me that feeling of claustrophobia and I hate it and it was very very dark down there um, I don't have the greatest lighting in this room but I do have big lights that um, accom you know accommodate and help with that problem it's this sewing room has been a dream come true all my life and I finally got it about three years ago uh, when we moved from Washington State to Virginia. I'm in Northern Virginia. 
and sea and seaside clothing supplies is uh, down in central Virginia. So word of caution and reminder to myself, always remember to turn your alarm off before you start a video because my alarm just went off and my video went away and I was like, what's happening? Why? Okay. So luckily I remembered what I was talking about. So, um, and I almost forgot what I was talking about, my idea. Um, but when we relocated, I ended up with the whole entire downstairs uh, for my sewing room. And it's approximately around 23 by 26 feet. And I have a back room that's unfinished. This was luckily all finished, which oh, was such a blessing. And I have an unfinished section that is just for storage of paints and um, my other craft things, beads and books and so forth. But then all the rest of it is my sewing room. And so we're going to be taking the exercise machine out and putting it upstairs in my husband's office because he's decided that he's going to exercise more. And for some reason, our third floor is colder than all the other floors, except during the winter. It gets warmer up there during the winter, but we'll deal with that when winter time comes. I have my husband convinced right now to take that out so that I can bring another um, bureau down from the office. I'm gonna have more room to put away fabric and projects, so I'm excited. And my uh, pull down top um, desk is coming down here uh, to put some rulers and things in. So I'm really excited about that, but that's all happening this week, all of it, somehow. I don't think I'm supposed to sleep this week. That's my guess. So on our live, sorry, I'm a storyteller. And you're stuck with me. If you enjoy our tutorials, you're kind of stuck with my stories to go with them. Okay, so on our live, Mary was showing a project with reversible tote bags. And tote bags are really great for going shopping, um, if we're on the run out the door and we've got things that we need to bring with us. I keep a large amount of tote bags um, in my car and unfortunately when I go in shopping I get in there and I'm like where's my tote bags they're in the car I'm trying to make it a practice to bring my tote bags into the store with me and how much better to want to do that than to have tote bags that are cute and these are reversible wonderful and in this pattern now, last, the last live, what we did was, if you ordered uh, a, two yards, uh, one yard of any, you know, two fabrics, we would send you the pattern for free. So, in the pattern, there are some templates. And what I do, whenever I have a pattern that has a template in it, I like to reprint these on my printer so I can put my pattern away. And when I cut out my, oops, got that upside down. When I cut out um, my templates, I don't have to worry if they get ripped or wrinkled or having to find a way to put them away and then organizing them like I used to back in the day um, when I had a lot of tissue paper patterns. Um, I can just print it out and I take my templates and I copy them and then I put these away back with its original pattern and um, something like this that's printed on paper, I just punch holes in it and I stick it in a notebook and I have different sections in the notebook um, to make it easier for me to find projects that I'll reuse over and over. And this is one that I would use, uh, reuse over and over. And I have a few different um, tote bag patterns that I want to be able to share um, coming up. 
So I'm gonna save that information for later, but these are still available. And what we've been doing is <clears throat> we've been coordinating two fabrics. So you can order it by theme and say, and the nice thing about um, our new app and our new comments sold that we've gone to is that you have three ways now to purchase from us very, very easily. You have our lives where you just, um, you'll type in sold, the number, and if there's a choice between yards or half yards or some size, you would type that in there. And this one had um, a theme, so you could just type the theme after the sold and the number of the item. You could type in beach, <clears throat> Christmas, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and then it just goes in. But if you're ordering from us and there's something that, um, say you were ordering a three yard bundle, but you wanted a fourth fabric, a fourth yard to go with that three yard bundle, there's a section that um, when you're cashing out that you can add a note. And it just makes it easier because when our orders get printed out, that note gets printed out with it. And it's a time saver and it's making it so much easier for Barb and Mary and Carrie Lynn to get our fabric cut, our notions and whatnot gathered and shipped out. So things are getting a little bit quicker. And that's always a bonus for us, right? So the three ways to order, there's the live, which is comment sold. The live is also showed on our app which is available on Android, uh, iPhone, and tablets. And you just go to whatever your app store is, and I, um, you have your one for Android, you have your one for iPhone, and just search Seaside Quilting Supplies LLC. And you download the app. So when the live is going on, you can also watch that live on the app. You can choose, do you wanna watch it on Facebook or do you wanna watch it on the app? The app is crazy easy. So there's a little bu uh, bubble up in the right-hand corner on the app when you're watching the live that will have a little tiny round picture of whatever's being shown. And you can just tap that little bubble and then it comes up with the item and it said, uh, you know, it will, if there's a choice between yards and half yards, you just click on the one that you want. And then um, you can, and then it, if there's, uh, then it comes up and it will ask you how many of that item do you want? And then you can add it to your cart. You have four hours to close your cart out. The third way to order, if you're not, if you don't like apps or you don't understand apps, and I get that, some people just don't, um, you can go to sqs.commentsold.com. And that is uh, sort of like our app, but it has um, different headings. You can search for items. Say you've seen something in the live, you can do a search for that item. Um, I often like to take notes during um, a live uh, because I might want something in the beginning, but then as I get into the middle and the end, I see more and more things that I want and I need to make choices. I can't have everything I want. I wish I could. I'm just not rich enough to do that. So like everybody else, I have to make choices. And so it's nice to make notes and I can go and search that later and buy it and so forth. So you have three ways and they're all connected to each other. Anything that you see on a live, you can find on that sqs.commentsold.com uh, or you can find in the app. And, the, and, and it's more dangerous now. It's easier. So it's more dangerous now because I can go through and I can, if you scroll on the app or on the, um, I believe on the SQS site, um, I believe there's, uh, I know for sure on the app because that's the one that I use the most. You can scroll at the top um, 
with a bar that has uh, different things on there. Um, and there's more and more tabs being added. You can scroll all the way to the end and you can click on what's new and then what's new comes up. Um, and there's just different tabs. There's tabs for thread, then there's tabs for different kinds of thread, there's tabs for patterns, there's all kinds of tabs. Or if you know that you want a specific thing like North Kaufman, um, Hoffman, Michael Miller, etc., etc., you can type that in. Or if you want a specific color, there's different ways to search in the app. Wonderful. But it's dangerous because it makes it so much easier to buy things. And the one thing is, is, say you place four or five orders within the week, which has happened to me because I bought things on the um, ends of both day, then I bought things on the Tuesday live, and then I bought things on the Thursday live, and I bought things in between. Um, Barb will go through and she will adjust and refund any excess shipping. So, um, don't be afraid of the fact that as you go through, you're, uh, you know, one day you're paying eight dollars shipping, another day ten, another day four, another day, you know, this or that. She goes through and she adjusts and she um, refunds that. So it make you know, don't worry about that. Um, anyways, it's probably too much information for my open box day. So with that kit. Um, and this is so cute because I'll be doing this next month, I think. I might get it done this month, but I'm just telling you next month to give me time because I, we still have to finish up the 2023 Seaside uh, Quilt Along. That's coming to an end. We'll have the 12th block this Friday and... Um, Either Friday or Saturday will have um, a sub block that if another block you didn't like it or it, you found it more difficult, you'll be able to sub a block in um, and exchange it. So, and then um, one on uh, adding your borders and one on um, how to mix up the blocks. If you didn't like the order that I put them in, how to mix them up and still come out um, with the quilt. So much to do. I need to do a lot this week too. Oh, my goodness, it's gonna be a rough week. I plan to just not sleep. So these are the beautiful fabrics that they gave me for the fab uh, for the reversible tote bag, and they're Christmassy, of course, because we plan to present this um, for the Christmas in July. I'd like to get um, a couple of uh, 4th of July projects um, in there, but I wasn't planning on every single weekend um, being something that I have to go to, and almost all of the weekends have included some type of a gift that I've had to make for somebody for the event, and then cooking and all that, and my poor house is going to suffer the rest of this month. And then I have to get it cleaned up for 4th of July. And then things I'm praying calm down a little bit and I'll be doing a lot of uh, tutorials. So let's see what we have in the bag. And like always, our packaging, packaging is incredible. Barb and Mary and Carrie Lynn, they do a great job. Mostly Barb does the packaging, but I think Mary helps at times. They put it in plastic. That's just in case, and we've had it happen, you know, that there's, uh, you know, somehow a cut or um, a crack in the box that it gets sent out in. And if it's in plastic and it ends up being a rainy day that it gets dropped off on your doorstep, which I've ha had happen, um, I was out shopping one day and my box got dropped off on my um, front steps and my shopping and errands took longer and it was a heavy, heavy, heavy downpour and my box got delivered while I was gone and when I got home, my box was soaked. It was soaked. So when I picked it up, the bottom was wanting to fall out, but all of my stuff was in perfect, perfect shape. 
because of their wonderful packaging. And that doesn't happen with very many companies. Some companies just kind of throw your stuff into a package. They don't even really fold it up well. So it's really nice to have um, a company that goes above and beyond to package our things and still tries to keep our shipping um, at a low rate, rate and our prices at a low rate because this packaging costs extra and they don't charge us for our packaging. They charge us for what we're buying, our product and um, our shipping, but they don't charge us, a, you, know, a, you know, like a handling fee. And that handling fee is always, oh, well, we gotta charge you for handling your fabric and uh, for the extra packaging. So they tack on extra. Um, they don't do that, which is wonderful. And they always do this cute little stamp with their logo on their paper. And sometimes I save the paper to wrap around something that I felt like if I set it up onto um, different notions and whatnot, um, sometimes I rewrap them and set them up on uh, my shelf so that they don't get mussed up. Or like um, vinyl and stuff that sticks together. I will put some of their paper wrapping um, on the vinyl before I fold it up so it doesn't stick to itself and it makes it easier so I don't have to peel it apart to use it. So sometimes I reuse their paper. Ooh, I have some beautiful fabrics. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fabrics. I'm so excited and I couldn't pass up getting another yard of the Garden Bliss. We have coordinates that are going to be coming in. They're a little bit delayed, but we do have some coordinates that are coming in for this. And look at those gorgeous, gorgeous butterflies on there. This is just the prettiest fabric. And when it came out, um, when they had it come in, oh, and look at this side. This side shows some of the bigger butterflies. Aren't those beautiful? Oh, I love this fabric. I can't wait for the coordinates to come out. I ordered an extra yard of it because I don't know yet what I'm making with it. So when I'm not sure, I order extra. And then, you know, I might get two projects out of it. You never know. So, um, and then there are times when I buy six, eight, ten yards of fabric. And those are the times when I absolutely do not have any idea what I'm going to be using it for. But I'm always needing a backing for a quilt. Sometimes I buy uh, the wide backings that are 108 inches. Uh, but sometimes I'm under demand to create a backing. Now, I think it was the last live or the live before I showed the Northcott Mint. I think, oh um, yeah, this is North, I'm checking to make sure that I'm not wrong. Um, this is the Northcott Mint. I love it. And when I ha saw it um, in person, I like, and I've gotten so away from solids which is kind of bad of me because, <coughs> excuse me, once in a while I do need a solid and I don't have many anymore. I have a few, but not a lot, but I don't want a lot either because I really love having um, textures in my fabric. I like having different colors instead of just a plain fabric and, um, I really need to find a white card to keep around. But this is a, a, it might show up a little bit darker in my camera, but it's really a nice, true minty color. And it has um, splotches of a little bit of white and a little bit of a darker mint, um, a medium mint. Actually, it's not a white. I think it's a very, very light, light mint then a medium mint and then a darker mint all blended in together. And I loved the look of the fabric. Um, 
<coughs> excuse me, I love the look of the mint. So um, I was like, yeah, I'm going to grab some extra of that because it's St. Patrick's Day. I went to make a table runner um, or a couple of them from my home and I had mostly darker greens on my shelf. And I had um, a few medium greens, but I didn't have any light greens to go in with them. And I didn't have many yellows that would go in with them. So um, this is going to get set aside, the one that came in the last time I have in mind for a project, but I wanted some extra, so I ordered that. And it's in perfect time because I am working with this batik that I bought last year. And this darker green, I've got a lot of darker greens on my shelf. So it's wonderful because this came in at perfect timing um, for my project. And I had already started on um, a table runner and I have another project with darker greens and that batik because um, I'm making some table runners for people um, for their birthdays. And luckily they don't watch this. So they're not going to know. And yes, I do have a lot of darker greens, but I love Bally Dots. I absolutely love Bally Dots. And I have a large collection. I probably have about 30 or 40 different Bally Dot colors. But I love them for blenders. And this is beautiful. It's uh, like a... Uh, like a hunter green maybe, or maybe you'd call it emerald, I'm not sure. Um, but I just love it. It's going to be beautiful. I wonder if it goes with this one. I think it might go with that one. I have to look at it a little bit better. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm like, you know, sea squirrel, sea shinies, and I get distracted. And the next thing you know, I got my table all fabrics all over the place and I'm trying to blend things. Um, so some of you will remember that I ordered um, the twisted wreath pattern um, with the morning light uh, fabrics, the fabric line. And when the pieces came in, so when you order a kit, kit, uh, kit you get just enough fabrics to make your, your kit. Okay, and I never have to worry. I never have to measure my fabric. I did the first few months um, when I first found Seaside Clothing Supplies, but they're always a little bit over. Now it might not be a lot over. It might be, you know, an inch over, an inch and a half over your yardage, but they, it's never short is what I'm telling you. Never, ever, ever is it short. Now, the, now, there are times when you're going to get the exact measurement, and that's on the ends of bolts. So if they tell you something is a yard and 22 inches, it's going to come to you at a yard and 22 inches. That's just how it is, because that's an end of bolt. Um, they can't cut you a little bit extra. We've only ever, you know, funny story. Um, last year, we actually had a customer who got very upset because they ordered... Um, I think they ordered 18 inches or something like that of the fabric. Um, you know, so that's your half yard. And I think we sent them 19 inches and they were very, very, very upset about it. I don't know. I can't explain people to you. But they were highly upset. And it it almost sounded like they wanted to exchange it because it wasn't the right size, which would cause extra shipping. You know, we would have to have it shipped back and then ship them back the exact measurement and we couldn't figure out why they were upset. But that's the only time anybody's ever been upset about getting a little extra fabric. So I've never had to sit and, you know, other companies, I sit and I measure everything out that they send to me because if it's a little bit short, I am going to be upset. And if it's cut, um, sometimes the way things come off bolts, um, 
sometimes, you know, or if it's not a good cutter, um, you might have like a little slant in your fabric. So when you put it together, the t you know, when you fold it, um, in the fold, you know, one part of the fabric might be going like this and the other part looks straight because they didn't check their fabric. And with them cutting just a little bit extra, um, then I can get that straight cut that I need to start out cutting my fabric without feeling like, oh, I've lost some fabric. Because if I need a yard of fabric, I have to remember that I need that straight cut. And that takes a little bit away from your fabric. I don't have to worry about that. We see side quilting supplies. And um, what you probably heard during one of my um, tutorial something I don't remember what I was making oh yes it was the little ones um, quilt top that I was making um, and I did uh, I did a binding tutorial with that and I did some pictures showing how I had planned out um, decon you know took apart the panel and then put the panel back together it was all ends of bolt stuff, so there was limited amount of fabric for it. So I didn't have any peaches. So I'm asking and reminding um, Barb and Mary to show me um, some peaches, and of course all of you that will come and watch. And I love this one that they showed. I think it was the, yeah, it was last live or it was the live before, um, but they showed this one and it's a palette peach. It's hard to get my stuff in the camera just the right way. But it's, once again, it's like, almost like the minty. Um, this has different tones of the peach on it. This is by Wyndham Fabrics and I now have a peach in the house, but you know, if I have one peach in the house, you know what's going to happen when I go to match something. This is not going to be the right color peach. Or it might be. We just never know when we go to make things. So hopefully um, we get some peaches showed um, this week. If ever you have something that you need to match. So say you're, you're putting fabrics together and you need a coordinate to go with it. You can send us a picture in a private message on Facebook um, from our business page, Seaside Quilting Supplies, LLC. And I'm trying now to start remembering on a Sunday or a Monday to put up a post that says, are there any colors that you would like to see? Are there any notions that you would like to see? Because the one thing, the one downside of the comments sold is that once we put our things in that we're going to sell that day, um, we haven't been able to add something to it during the live. Maybe there's a way, or maybe there's going to be a way coming up, um, but right now, as we're learning the new process, we haven't been able to do that. So you can send us a message, you can comment on that posting when I do the posting that says, is there anything that you need to see this week, whether it be thread, rulers, uh, batting, um, you know, in our form um, from in, Inspira, um, needles, whatever, pins, you name it. If there's something specific that you need to see, comment there or send a private message and we will try to get it into the live for you to make it easier for you to order it. So, um, before I forget, I was telling you that I ordered um, that morning light um, kit, but then I loved some of the fabric so, so much. And I was telling you when I was opening them and I forgot one of them. So I gotta go and I gotta check today to see if they still have more <coughs> of the one that I forgot. But I was so, so in love with these. I love these leaves. Um, I know I'm going to enjoy quilting on it and I wanted some extra. So this is the lightest tone 
of the four with leaves on them. And there's one that's, um, I can't remember what it looks like. I'm gonna have to go look at my kit. Um, but I know I forgot one of them when I was ordering. And this is like the medium one with the leaves. There's also um, one that's more blue. I ordered some of that the other day, so I should have that next week. And then I will make sure that I order um, today some of the, the other green one that I forgot so that I could make sure that I have these all in. I'm thinking of a three yard quilt with these. So I ordered myself a little bit um, extra. I think I, did I order just a yard? That's probably what I did. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I ordered a yard of, of each one of these. I ordered, I think a yard and a half of the blue one and I want to get some of the other green one. Isn't that pretty? It's just gorgeous fabric. It feel, I love the Northcott fabric. It has such a great feeling. It's a pleasure to uh, piece with, to quilt with. Um, I like that it has a little bit of a slippery feeling. It goes under my long arm because I have a sit down so much easier. And the one thing that I forgot when I was buying the lanai, um, and let me grab those. So we are almost out of the lanai. Now these are the ones that I ordered previously and I think showed in a different um, box opening, but this is the largest flower out of the lanai. And aren't those just gorgeous? So spring feeling and summer feeling. And these are the smaller flowers. Oops, fell them right out of my hand. And then there's this beautiful print. I wanna get that close enough. So see, there's like this little background print when you pull it away you can barely see it but then when you pull it away you can see all those pretty tones the yellow the pink the green um the yet you know they're all blended in so the colors that are in these flowers are blended in on this tonal fabric but it has that cute little design in it Okay, so when I ordered it, I was thinking, and of course, you know, I was thinking three yard quilt, but I like to have a little bit of extra because what if I wanna make a tote bag or something out of it, or a gift bag out of it, you just never know, or some pillowcases out of it. I needed a little bit extra, so um, I got those when they first came out, but there was so many new fabrics during that time that I didn't end up getting the pink and the pink is a, um, it's, the picture is in a light, light, light pink. And then the fabric um, is the pink. So, let me see if that, let me see if I can get this. Uh, there we go. So see how there's this, the flowers in a light, light pink on here and then you have your pink. So I didn't buy this. Uh, I had to decide on which ones I wanted. And there's another print that is just the leaves. It's uh, just, just the leaves that are on this. So it's the same um, like creamy white um, with all the leaves on it. And I decided not to get that one. I have to, you know, like all of you, I have to make choices each time. But I almost missed out on this. I think we have only maybe four or five yards, if that, of this. But the other day, there was that much of it left. There was six yards when I ordered this one. So there's around four or five yards or so left of it, I think. So if you missed out on getting that and you want to get it, you want to get it in a hurry. And I'm so tempted to go and buy another yard of it because you know how I am. 
you know, I fall in love with my fabric, especially when I see it in person. And this, you know, there's once in a while, I'll order a fabric and I'm not sure of it. I'll get a yard of it or a half a yard of it and I get it in and I'm like, ah, it isn't what I thought it was going to be. Rarely. Um, and I say rarely because the wonderful thing is, is that they take the time to hold it up, to move it around. Um, so you see the different tones and the pictures in it and whatnot. So usually I know, no, no, that I want a fabric. Sometimes I know I want too many. Um, but sometimes when you get them in, they're just more, um, even more adorable than what you were expecting them to be from seeing them on the camera, like the Garden Bliss. Um, and I did fall in love with that when I first saw it, but again, there was so many fabrics that I had. I think that came in around the same time as the Lanai, and there was just so much that I had to choose from. So then I go back, and sometimes you can't. Sometimes things sell out within three, four days after we get it, and you don't get that second chance uh, to go back. And when I'm worried about that, I'll order enough of it ahead of time. Um, but I got lucky, and the Garden Bliss didn't sell out, but it's getting close. So if you want to get these butterflies, you'll need to get a jump on it. I'm not even sure if we have any left. I'm just going by the last live and being on uh, the app and whatnot, what we had at that time. So if you want it, you're going to want to grab it. And then we have coordinates coming in that are in that Garden Bliss line itself. And of course, there's many fabrics that could go with it. So that's what I had for this box opening this week. Um, so excited. And I don't even get to use them yet. That's the sad part. I don't even get to use them yet. I just get to touch them. But I will. You know, I'll be doing a lot of projects. I'm always doing a lot of projects. I save my twine that they wrap around my fabric. So that's it for this week. Today is Tuesday. If you're watching this today, we have our sip and shop at 7 p.m. Eastern time. If you've enjoyed the box opening and my storytelling, mind you, please give me a like, a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate those thumbs up. And also, um, if this is the first time, please subscribe to our YouTube. Um, and then there's a little bell next to it that you can uh, click on that and adjust your notifications. So um, you'll see when tutorials come up, you'll get that little notification and can decide, is that one that you're gonna to, uh, be interested in? There's a lot coming up um, next month. There's going to be a, a Christmas table runner, the reversible uh, bag, um, the cathedral window pillow. Uh, and some of these projects may end up going in even to August because I have so many in my head. But uh, I was trying to think. And, and um, the tree skirt. Uh, some wine bags, some gift bags, because we need those come towards the holidays. It's fun to uh, make our own. Uh, so it's more of a personal gift. And um, some aprons and stuff like that are going to be coming up and many other projects. So check that notification. And on Thursdays, just so I don't forget, on Thursdays in the afternoon, we usually have a pop-up live, not a designated time like our Tuesday one, because it just depends on the flow of the day. Sometimes they're, you know, in the middle of the day, sometimes they're in the afternoon, um, before dinner time, Eastern time. So, but you, if, if you have um, requested notifications, that will come up to you and let you know um, on our Facebook. So you'll want to go to our Facebook and I don't remember the phone number uh, or the text number, but you can find it on our main page on Seaside Clothing Supplies LLC. I need to write that down and keep it handy so when I'm doing these I can tell you what the number is um, so that you can get notifications. But if you like our business page and uh, 
change your notifications on the Facebook business page, then you'll get notifications when pop-ups are, are happening or special events are happening. We have our own private uh, seaside quilting group where we have all kinds of knowledgeable people that share and help others and we have every uh, all kinds of people from newbies to very experienced and we are there we will help those that are new to sewing or quilting um, whenever we possibly have the answer or sometimes can just direct you to the answer that you're needing uh, we share projects, uh, we share um, downloadable um, content for your, um, for the tutorials that I create in my software, like the, the quilt along. Um, and sometimes we have special sales and our ends of bolt sales go primarily into that group. It's a special gift to our customers um, that we'd like to give to you um, on Sundays. So on Sundays, uh, most every Sunday, there will be a ends of bolts, not every single one because life happens, things happen, and uh, believe it or not, Barb and Mary um, need to spend time with their family. Imagine that. So anyways, jokes aside, it's been wonderful to spend time with you. And um, so until next time, I wish you happy sewing.